नमस्कार आदाब एंड सलाम टू ऑल फोर ट्वेंटी ग्राम लॉयल फॉलोअर्स एंड सलाम टू द टू ऑफ यू माई ब्रदर्स वन फ्रॉम द बबल इन गोवा एंड एन अदर फ्रॉम अ डिफरेंट सॉर्ट ऑफ बबल इन श्रीनगर इशफाक एंड महराज टू लेजेंड्स ऑफ कश्मीर फुटबॉल बोथ ऑफ हु प्लेड फॉर ऑल ऑफ द बिग थ्री कैलकटा क्लब ईस्ट बंगाल मोहन बगान एंड ऑफकोर्स मोहम्मद स्पोर्टिंग आर हेयर टू ज्वाइन अस ऑन दिस रेगुलर संडे आफ्टरनून स्लॉट Uh, which we've been bringing to you i think with a fair amount of consistency fairly fairly more consistent than we have been uh, ever in the past and this is of course our brand new youtube channel as well so thank you for joining us those who have uh, we'll we'll get the chat started in a couple of minutes guys once uh, we have a few people on with us i'm just trying to take a look at how many uh, have already tuned in the idea of actually starting this new channel was to so that more notifications go out to people and they know exactly when we go live so so it's updated and of course hopefully thanks to your instagram followers as well some people managed to uh, catch mm-hmm. that uh, notification and 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 join us on on the live chat of course two of our regular uh, panelists or or the regular crew are not with us today one has a, a video call with his new gaffer mr renvi singh uh, is going to be busy figuring out stuff at east bengal club and we'll we'll talk a bit about east bengal and mohan bagan later on uh, but i think should we get straight in it first of all why don't you guys tell me how you, how, how you guys doing yeah pehle to yahi batae let's ask oh, mehraj oh. mehraj is joining us oh no all all well all well sadat we have been training here in uh, shrinagar now i mean keeping all the covid 19 procedures in place and uh, we have started actually uh, training with the with the under 18 group here in state football academy which i think is uh, which i think is uh, going to be uh, i mean again uh, they're going to play i think i league they are playing some local tournaments over here and this is for the first time there are so many local tournaments uh, happening in uh, kashmir where the players they are getting some games to play so it's like a football festival here right now in kashmir and a uh, lot of tournaments happening in shrinagar in 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 other districts of valley which is actually a positive thing which is happening after very long time here and we are keeping busy uh, ourselves with uh, those tournaments going as uh, as uh, as guests and as uh, participants um, just to just to promote sometimes and uh, maybe taking our team there you know to participate in such tournaments and uh, try to try to be more uh, try to be more uh, occupied uh, with the game yeah fair enough uh, miraj it's been a pretty tough year i think since august of last year things have been uh, very very challenging for uh, all you guys living in kashmir uh, in the valley um, before we get any further on this chat we have a uh, another special guest another legend has joined us sharda sharda is here uh, thanks for thanks for coming in sharda i i i'm sorry i texted you so last minute uh, but i just thought maybe sunday afternoon you you don't have too much else going on and, and you can spare a few minutes to to join and chat with all of us uh, just get a recap on of course the i league qualifiers as well as what's happening in in the ISL bubble in goa and and what's happening on the ground in kashmir in terms of uh, grassroots football so shada uh, please feel free to sort of uh, co host this uh, conversation jump in thanks so much for the invite uh, i just jump in just the thing about kashmir you say kashmir and you just say yes i'm coming you know <laughs> no no problem i'll be there uh, this uh, sort of i'm i'm sort of emotionally invested in 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 kashmir football i mean i think i've become emotionally invested in the indian football only for the last two years fighting with various ghosts and beasts and the rest of it but uh, no it's it sounds like a great thing i just heard the tail end of uh, miraj's conversation hi uh, ishfaq how are you i have spoken to you um, and to miraj also in 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 chinagar i met him uh, it's just great to hear that there is a festival Uh, i don't know if uh, people know that i'm on this whatsapp group of kashmir football i don't think they know i'm there and this kind of no no you are there you are there you are yes, there yes yes thank you <laughs> thank you yeah. i so i i can see that there is activity and that there are things going on i don't step in i just follow 
what's happening and and hopefully uh, you know this sounds like a great uh, a great program that's there and there's activity and there is uh, there is uh, uh, it sounds incredible uh you know i keep saying is kashmir is where you can place all sport all year round almost you know and i'm so glad to see that uh what is uh, that there is to to listen to the stories that a little bit that i've heard uh, just getting into this conversation and following a little bit on that group fair enough please do add me to this group as well <laughs> yes sidan why not <laughs> you should be there yeah yeah i i i'm on the jnk sports media group i think there's no, another that is that is group. that is that is not over how is that is half group that i'm in i am in a half <laughs> group i want to i'm so on that is a fake group acha you are you are in yeah. nakli group nakli group ha matlab matlab topi aap log pehen ke aaye hain lekin main ha mujhe rahe hain topi but say you know so please do add me i'll be good to stay in touch with what's happening uh, yes sir yes sir yes I also saw a couple of days ago, Maharaj. Maybe you can give us a quick update on that. The inauguration of a new rugby ground, synthetic rugby ground. Yes, 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 yes. It is actually in the in the heart of city where you may have visited that polo ground, Shada. I think you have been there. You you saw it actually. You she went. Uh, she came to the astroturf. It just besides that astroturf, which was actually the football ground earlier. We used to play. Yeah. Uh, I think Ishfaq has played a lot of games there. I think. Uh, one of the big clubs uh, of jammu and kashmir which was uh, state uh, road transport corporation transport, yeah. yeah yeah transport corporation we used to call it transport ground at that time hmm. so it was a very good field but uh, i think there are a lot of things happening in jammu and kashmir now in terms of sports and they want to you know uh, build the infrastructure of uh, every sport not only football and uh, rugby the, i think there was no rugby field in srinagar and maybe in kashmir so this is the one they have this is the property of state sports council here and they have uh, they have uh, i mean come up with the uh, concept of making it a rugby field now and which is actually a good there are a lot of rugby players here now playing rugby uh, and uh, there should be you know some uh, some some ground some field for the rugby players also and the government has come up with a very nice project which is a rugby football field and it is actually in the heart of the city uh, it's accessible to everyone and there's a lot of kids they can you know play rugby now also in kashmir badhiya hai badhiya hai also wanted to check what, so i also noticed that there's a women's team that that is that is uh, uh, training in rugby there and a, lo- a, a bunch of those women i think the captain uh, soliha is her name if i'm if i'm soliha uh, yeah Solia, Solia, yeah, yeah. She yeah. is the one who is keeping all the uh, all the girls together right. for the rugby, and she is actually taking the lead, I think, hmm. uh, to to build a rugby team here. And uh, uh, when women are involved in uh, rugby, and the government want to do a lot of things for the women here as well, so maybe something for football and rugby. When girls play rugby, and it's actually a very unique thing in in Kashmir, and uh, government shows interest because they also want when they are doing something for the men for the boys they you know they have to do something for the girls as well and rugby football and cricket and i think the girls are also involved here in kashmir now has there been can i just jump in a little has there been any it's, it's, sort of increased attention or funding for sports whether it's one way or the other since you're talking about rugby and you're talking about uh, women football or just any football is it Has that so it's happened? Or is just self-generated by all you guys saying no? We have to do something. Like you can see in the group that they said we are doing our practice. We don't care what's happening. You know. No, I think there is suddenly a lot of things which are happening from the state government, and they want to build the infrastructure. And there are always a lot of funding, uh, even for sports here in Jammu and Kashmir. And you know, people they want to keep uh, uh, the youth engaged with the sports, and that is the that is the only reason they come up with those projects. just to keep the youth engaged and maybe it's good for the youth as well because then you have something like rugby something like football something like cricket to play and which keeps uh, the youth away from all the rest of the activities like drugs maybe some of them uh, they are not uh, i mean uh, they are always watching uh, movies on the tvs the kids uh, they are always on the mobile uh, which actually makes them uh, you know uh, very lazy kind of thing and uh, Uh, i think this is a very uh, unique concept which uh, government of jammu and kashmir has come up with and uh, the i think the ultimate aim is, aim is to 
you know, to build the infrastructure and to keep the youth engaged. Well, I think uh, one of, uh, let me, I'm jumping in for this since I'm from Kashmir also, but I think government has to do, it's their job to do the, make the infrastructure. And uh, especially we have sports council, we have youth service and department and get a lot of maybe a little bit extra fund on the name of Kashmir. Uh, so I, I'm not expert on rugby, but I don't know whether one should play on the astro artificial ground and rugby because it's very similar to football twisting and turning and uh, sliding is a lot more than football. Um, and that too, uh, you know, friend sliding where you try to score goals and all that. Uh, how 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 good is uh, an uh, artificial ground for that? Uh, I'm not sure. Or maybe rugby has different kind of ground. Uh, but uh, as Miraj was telling, you know, like it's good, really good for youth. Like there are some things which uh, we recently created NIF there, National and International Forum of Footballers who are doing a lot of activities and we spend money from our own pocket to do those activities. And uh, one of the sole reason for that is uh, uh, football players who are interested in football, they have not been getting matches, uh, enough matches. Uh, and whether we all know the reasons why the matches are not been ha happening. And then, uh, then our, unfortunately, our association plays a big part also and then they are not that active as well and they add up the cause <laughs> so, so, so so we had to step, <laughs> so we had to step in and um, you know, like uh, there is a lo lot of see I, I blame government also I'm not one who will just tell all the rosy things what they are doing I, they have done they have previously uh, supported uh, associations in wrongdoings, which unfortunately now they are saying us, uh, we don't have authority, but mm. we are, if you don't have authority, how do you approve them? So, uh, uh, which which we want to change. Uh, it's not about, we want to change because me, Miraj and some other guys are there because football has given us a lot and we want to give at least something back to our younger generation, uh, at least a system where they can play a proper football. And then uh, everybody won't become a professional footballer. We all know that. Mm. Um, but coming from a conflict zone, at least football keeps them busy. Get out of that mindset. Uh, you know, like it may be a very well, it is entertaining. Football is an entertainment sports also. Uh, it is the only entertainment available. We don't have theaters. We don't have any other thing. We are not allowed to go late out. Um, and there are, after last year, there are nakas everywhere, you know, like, um, so people are still scared. There is still um, tension in atmosphere. So the sports is the best thing. If we can revive it, especially football, which is loud all over the state. And, uh, and we are trying our bit and uh, we hope that we continue it. And uh, as Miraj said, it's kind of a, a festival. I am in touch with a lot of uh, footballers and they say they have never played foot so much of football in their entire career. Uh, you know, like uh, some of them have played six matches per week. This is, I know that is wrong professionally, but such was the need that we need to have many tournaments, uh, initiate many tournaments in different uh, districts. Miraj and me went for very far flooded areas, like uh, some of them are, um, you know, like uh, in Bandipura, where on the uh, shores of Walu Lake, where there are grounds and all that had to come, had to reach there during this pandemic. And because it was earlier de declared as a green zone. Mm. So we started from there. Now we are almost running seven tournaments uh, simultaneously wow. uh, on different uh, in different districts. And uh, the best part is like all the district players are coming and participating in that. Mm. And, uh, and I 
I personally, on behalf of Meraj also, uh, you know, like through this uh, YouTube channel, say thanks to all those guys who make this possible. Because trust me, it takes a lot of effort and you to reach more from one district to another district to conduct tournament. And then the best part is in today's world, all of these guys are spending money from their own pocket. And not only that, uh, we, Miraj and me, we, we conducted two, two, three exhibition matches and the response, which I think I shared the photographs with you um, earlier, uh, any, the, 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 the response was unbelievable, especially in Sopur, mm. and, you know, like they love football. So I think it, it is the way I said it is government's job that to build infrastructure. I think it is our moral responsibility, especially for Maharaj and me, uh, to do something for the guys there. And uh, we have seen, you know, like uh, most of the businesses are gone down, so yeah, as yeah. sports, uh, in, especially in Kashmir. You know, like uh, people are, people are, People have been locked in for six months for this pandemic, but Kashmir, unfortunately, is from one year or more than that. More than a year. So, so yeah, so so I can understand I'm sitting here in Goa at least enjoying practice with the secure bio bubble and you know, like uh, training kids professionally. But it's very difficult uh, in Kashmir to do, you know, like there are, you have to sometimes, I am sure, Miraj, uh, you know, like when parents come, they are concerned about everything, not only about football, but the rest of the things which goes around. But off late, there has been, you know, like, uh, unfortunately, the youth has been involved tremendously in drugs, like where every day, if you see, if you read Kashmir news, police have caught some or other drug peddlers selling drugs in Srinagar or other parts. I don't know what exactly is happening because I have never seen in my entire life, you know, like, you know, that kind of... Kuleyam. Kuleyam, yeah, exactly. Itna, matlab, drug mafias and all that are like everywhere. Mm. And, uh, and for that, it's again, it becomes so very important for people like me, Miraj and other sports like Parvez, I'm regularly in touch with him also. To, 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 to bring to bring young kids to the ground and you know at least motivate them be their role models and meet them and share our own story because you know like um, Maharaj for example if I tell Maharaj's story to a kid because Maharaj is a successful footballer and from Kashmir and and it might inspire him and same goes to the other top sports person in Kashmir they sh they have to come forward and motivate them and be their role models and when you have homegrown role, role models, we will have more players to come in. Uh, just a question. Yeah, sorry, sorry, go on, Shada. Sorry, sorry, Siddhan. No, no. Just a question for both uh, Mehraj and for Ishfaq. What is it that kids ask you when they come to talk to you? I mean, I, uh, uh, you know, what is it that the young people there want to know? What are the questions that come to you when you are there, you know, open to chat, turn up at the ground? There are, there are two types of... Uh, age groups. One is younger age group who would just come to uh, Mehraj deals a lot with them. And, and I know whenever I come there, they will always first just want to be around us. Mm. They just want to, uh, you know, like show us their football skills and all that. And uh, I'm sure Mehraj deals a lot with them because he is head of state football academy. And uh, then there is a little bit elder group who all want to try in professional clubs outside Kashmir. So these are the most uh, common you know, things which we face when we, especially uh, the, the elder age group under 18 and all that, they all want to play in professional football teams. Maybe Maharaj might have a different experience. No, 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 totally agreed with you, Ishfaq. Uh, it is actually the same thing which is happening. A lot of kids, you know, they come and they are looking for a platform actually, where they can actually play and show their skills. And from there, they can go and play play outside. I mean, outside the state, maybe for some clubs and maybe for the country as well. 
so it is it is there the the kids are always there but the only thing is we can always you know help them to reach to the clubs but the only thing is the football has become very competitive these days you know you need you need lot of lot of experience now to be the part of the club to be the part of the i mean i league club maybe for the second division club because a lot of there are a lot of players from all over the country now so yeah. many players they come from the north east and you know they are much they have got potential and uh, now if someone is trying to come from the kashmir he has to be equally good so uh, i think uh, there are still you know a lot of things which has to happen in kashmir in terms of football where you know actually uh, the kids they uh, grow as football players you know they enhance their skills and they'll become the the players where we can actually recommend them to the clubs but i think it's still a lot of uh, we still have a lot of time it takes time because uh, there were no such activities from past 20 years happening in in jammu and kashmir only the league was happening not a, not a really good food, work on grassroots and that is the only reason we don't have any players who actually we can recommend and we can tell them okay you can go and play for the clubs it's me ishfaq and uh, me and ishfaq we came out of the state in 2001 and from 2001 to 2020 now not a single player who came after us to play for a club maybe some of few of them came but they were not they were not very successful they came they played for a club for a year or a two and they came back and now that is a big question to ask and big big question to think where you know why why what, what was the problem why there were no players uh, you know which we could not why we could not produce players for the for the clubs for the country and uh, when we think about it and there are a lot of problems which are happening and we don't want to discuss about everything here because the, the then it comes to the Uh, the the blame comes to the ones who are responsible here to run the football and they have not done the job properly so now as ishfaq said we have made a group which is called national and international footballs forum where we me ishfaq arun malhotra and uh, sajid and a lot of uh, hilal all all the young coaches all the young players they have joined together and we have some ex footballers who have represented country represented state who are with us just to you know revive the football of kashmir so mm. which is actually a good exercise we are doing right now and it is trust me it is it is it is getting very successful here where uh, as ishfaq said lot of tournaments happening and people they do come you know there is lot of passion among the people of jammu and kashmir towards football and when there is a football game we went ishfaq and me we went to play a match in sopor in pandemic i am talking about this two weeks three weeks before ishfaq and me we went more than 10000 people they came towards the game and that is that is where uh, is is like 60 kilometers away from sopor uh, from sirinagar it's called sopor and you know it's it's very it's very is a very good feeling very good thing you know when you see uh, football is played in villages also and the passion is there but the only thing is the work is not being done properly from uh, from over the years here and that is the only reason Uh, the the young generation they are getting away from football uh, the people they don't want to watch it now because there is not a really good thing happening in football if there are matches happening also they are not very entertaining and the people who are playing taking part in players who are taking part in the games you know they are not uh, very they don't have potential you know they don't entertain uh, they don't and the people who are watching the games they are not really enjoying those games and now we have we are actually uh, ishfaq and me a lot of people here we are actually trying to 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 get the people back to to football and uh, eventually there are a lot of tournaments happening and same time we are also uh, working on the youth the grassroots and i think within this week we are uh, launching 15 academies here and uh, as ishfaq said it is not sponsored by anyone it's me ishfaq and some of the local players here we are spending money from our own pockets just to promote the game we are not doing any favor to anyone but i think it's our moral responsibility we have played for the country we have played for the state now is time for us to get back if government is not doing if the football association is not doing but we should do it we don't want after 10 years 20 years the generation they'll curse us for not doing anything so we want we want to do best for the youth of jammu and kashmir at the moment so that there is lot of football there is a, there is lot of uh, lot of there are lot of players who who get actually involved with football and maybe you know you don't know 
maybe I, I won't be surprised if you see many of the players they will play for the clubs in coming time. Maybe some of them will play for the country because there is potential. There is potential and they are Kashmiri players. They are physically very good and uh, you you know all the foreign coaches they love the players who are physically very well and they give they give them the preference you know and from the north side punjab kashmir we are naturally physically very good and uh, it it is an added advantage for us so if the work is done correctly maybe for next 3 or 4 years you will see lot of players coming out of the state that right. so, sounds encouraging uh, 15 uh, new academies where where uh, mehraj in in the various districts is it yes various districts siddha various districts and we have we have actually uh, 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 today in 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 the morning we had a meeting and uh, by thursday uh, we are going to finalize which are the districts we are going to uh, uh, call and uh, launch our academies on and uh, on saturday on this saturday we are going to launch 15 academies 15 academies in in jammu and kashmir hmm. and it's not going to be you know like the professional academies in the evening maybe you know we'll have the coaches we'll have the kids and we'll have all the equipments available there but this is just the beginning and we are doing it it's just just a small step and maybe in coming time when i we we, we want to start it from somewhere so someone hmm. has to come and someone has to start so we are just taking a step forward and starting something for the youth and uh, Uh, once we will start it i think if if it is success then maybe i mean next year it is more 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 uh, more uh, actually more good and uh, more academies will come and more players will come as well i said one of the thing is uh, sorry meraj to cut you off uh, uh, one of the thing is that uh, we won't charge anyone we will have coaches we were trying to have a qualified coaches and we will be uh, paying coaches as well so so that is our we want it at least to start you know like we won't have exactly because it the, all the means unfortunately mm. but uh, uh, but we want to start from word go only as uh, we want to initiate uh, you know like put the professionalism there put the word professionalism bring those uh, licensed coaches pay them and uh, you know like they can do all day some other job but at least morning and evenings we can help with them so, uh, and they will they will continue their passion to teach uh, young kids and they can uh, do other job also we are trying to involve or get engage all the coaches who are not unfortunately having jobs also right now or mm. in districts and uh, because most of the coaches who have done coaching here in kashmir have out of passion not for the job and all that but maybe some people thought they might get the job but unfortunately uh, none of the kashmiris are getting jobs in here <laughs> so it is other part Back. but part hai bhai ha nahi the also the yes, jo it's quiet but ha ha jo jo also jo 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 restructuring hua hai in terms of the government because Uh, a large number of jobs in the youth affairs and sports department uh, were the jobs that were were being given out and and now with the restructuring and and uh, uh, jammu and kashmir becoming a union territory all that is i mean i'm sure the government has its own set of priorities and and sport is not going to be like up top on that agenda so so what has been the impact because uh, i i was uh, of course in and out of kashmir 2017 18 19 and there was a lot of stuff going on on the ground whether it's uh, through the state football academy of course also local level tournaments night football had started so so uh, you know using it as a means to engage the youth as well uh, a means of entertainment as well and of course as hamare ek professor saab and terry eagleton karke jo kehte hain ki football is the new opium of the masses ki jab aur duniya bhar mein beda gard ho raha hai to logon ko distract karne ke liye kuch na kuch to chahiye na नौकरी है नहीं खाने के लिए है नहीं लॉकडाउन चल रहा है पबजी भी बैन कर दिया आपने टिकटॉक भी बैन कर दिया तो तो लोग बात करेंगे क्या मतलब तो कुछ तो कुछ तो उनको हिट किसी चीज का तो देना पड़ता है 
and then of course there are there are uh, the issues of the insurgency and and all of those things that are going on so so uh, football and sport in general plays a uh, i think very vital role in in all of these processes uh, coming together i wanted to ask you guys how much uh, of a, before we of course talk a bit more about some of the positives uh, how much of a step back has it been in because you had started all of these efforts the state football academy had already had many centers in fact we were there when the first uh, in intra kashmir uh, district level tournament for girls was happening mm-hmm. so that was a remarkable thing because you had teams from uh, bandipora from from leh all the way teams had traveled to srinagar uh, from some jammu uh, teams uh, team had come so it was not just you know about the football but also a chance for young people young women from all these diverse communities to meet to interact to spend some time together get to know each other's cultures as well yes siddhant you know what happened actually when we uh, launched uh, state football academy and we wanted to run it uh, in a professional way so we wanted to actually i was the head of it and we had a very good team so we wanted to uh, we wanted to have one one unit in every district we had by then a state and we had 22 districts mm. now we are in, we are in ut and we have only 20 then we had 22 districts and we wanted to make sure that we have a unit in every district right. so when we did it and it took us time it took us actually one and more than more than one year to you know to launch a unit in every district but what actually we saw it when we worked with the boys it was not the concept uh, for us to involve the girls so what we did is when we started uh, uh, working with the boys and we actually saw some girls also coming and they they showing interest they we had we had a sunday football school here for everyone comes and joins and you know, and plays for for fun in in trc ground you may have seen it and more than 300 foreign kids used to come and lot of girls yeah in sochar so bachche aate the usme and lot of girls also used to come then we thought of you know why not to work with the girls then what we we started to work with the girls and eventually we ended up making six six uh, yeah. girls girls units also mm-hmm. for 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 women we we started making six, we had six girls teams and which i think was happened which actually happened for the first time in the history of kashmir where we had six girls teams eight girls teams eight mm-hmm. girls teams and you saw it how beautifully it was done we had that intras uh, intral into the academy tournament here and where people from ladakh people from jammu kutwa they never used to come and play all with uh, with, with everyone all together and we brought them here in astro turf they played in the artificial grass and it was a very good actually picnic for them absolutely and yeah. they they actually enjoyed they took the pictures and we actually got lot of talented players out of that hmm. at that intra district tournament we got some potential where we used them for the i league and some of them now they are playing for the clubs in 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 jammu and kashmir so which was a good idea and i think uh, now it is not happening in the way but how it started because everyone uh, when we started it we had money so josh bhi tha paisa bhi tha so everyone was very interested but then suddenly government change ho gayi yahan pe then it was pdp now then the government changed suddenly the governor's rule came Then hmm. उसके बाद क्या हुआ देन फंडिंग सडनली फंडिंग में प्रॉब्लम आ गई देन एक्चुअली वी हैड कोचेज इन एवरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट पे दोचेज वी यूज टू पे द्लेयर्स रिफ्रेशमेंट टू द्लेयर्स देन क्या हुआ कि फंडिंग जब बंद हो गई तो कोचेज को पैसा नहीं मिला प्लेयर्स को रिफ्रेशमेंट नहीं मिली तो एक वक्त ऐसा आ गया देन वो यूनिट्स बंद हो गए लेकिन अभी भी हमारे पास कम से कम छह सात ऐसे यूनिट्स है वो एक्टिव है तो उन यूनिट्स में कौन काम कर रहा है उन यूनिट्स में वही कोच काम करे जो हमारे साथ थे लेकिन उनको कोई पैसा भी नहीं मिल रहा है पैशन तो उनके पास पैशन है दे कैन दोज यूनिट्स स्टिल ट्रेनिंग इज हैपनिंग देयर नाउ आई हर्ड यस्टरडे इन इन स्टेट स्पोर्ट्स काउंसिल ऑफिस एंड दे आर गोइंग टू एंगेज फाइव हंड्रेड कोचेस फाइव हंड्रेड कोचेस ये मैंने कल देखा है इफ दिस थिंग हैपन्स एंड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम विल बी सॉल्व बिकॉज we'll have a lot of coaches down right now we don't have coaches maine bhi mehraj maine bhi suna wo ha ah, suna hai but you you know you don't trust coaches kahan hai 500 they want to engage someone maybe all the physical trainers maybe ex players you I know i'm also working in the other dep- other department mein they couldn't ah. they they can't uh, 
uh, extend my order from last one year. Which is jahan pe main lag sakta hu and now they are yeah, talking yeah. about 500 yes uh, which I, saw, i actually said which i saw in the paper so ye hoga nahi hoga but it is happening it is it is right now in the papers lekin yahan se yahan pe siddhant bahut sari baatein hoti hai wo papers mein hoti hai bahut sari baatein wo tv mein hoti hai interviews mein hoti hai lekin actually baad mein aisa kuch hota nahi hai they will suddenly say we'll make Ten astrotopes. Hmm. They'll suddenly say we'll make. Hard district me a ground banayenge. A ground banayenge, right? Uh, and we know the Bakshi Stadium here. We had a very good stadium. Yeah. And ye. It is still being renovated. It is not being renovated. It's still being chal rahi hai. Abhi bhi chal rahi hai. And if you see the condition of it, it's 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 it looks. Mujhe lagta hai ki wo do three saal, do three saal lagenge abhi usko. So the when it comes to government sidan government ka kaam pata hai kya hai ki ye bahut slowly hota hai kabhi kabhi kyunki isme file hai ek bhi kabhi kabhi na kabhi isko koi hurdle aa gayi na to us pe enquiry baithti hai to enquiry jab tak solve nahi hogi to case aage badhega nahi to kaam udhar ka udhar ka hi ruk jata hai but uh, i think i hope ki jo kuch ye log keh rahe hain wo sahi se ho to i think sports ko overall sports ko fayda milega nahi to fir nayi government aayegi fir wo naye नई चीजें लाएगी और नई फिर से स्टार्ट स्टार्ट वो अगेन सो वो चीजें बहुत मुश्किल है लेकिन अनफॉर्चुनेटली हम लोग खत्म नहीं कर पाते चलता नहीं हम लोग हर साल फिर से स्टार्ट करते हैं और गवर्नमेंट आती है फिर से पहले स्टेट होती है हम लोग स्टार्ट करते हैं फिर यूटी बन जाती फिर से हम लोग अगेन स्टार्ट करते हैं अब मैंने अभी आज ही मैंने न्यूज पढ़ी ग्रेटर कश्मीर में इतना बड़ा बड़ा लिखा था कि वी विल गेट आवर स्टेट हुड बैक लगता है फिर से स्टार्ट करना पड़ेगा रिफ्रेश 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 हां वही रिफ्रेश ही चलता रहेगा गो शारदा यू वांटेड टू से समथिंग या नो आई वाज जस्ट सेइंग समथिंग दैट व्हाट यू सी इन एवरी प्लेस एंड इन कश्मीर बिकॉज़ ऑफ द सिचुएशन पॉलिटिकली व्हाट हैज हैपेंड ओवर द लास्ट 12 months 15 months jitna bhi aap 20 saal kar lo 25 saal kar lo that the most important thing i think for footballers correct me if i'm wrong is that you need enough matches to play you need to be playing enough event ha ground up jitne bhi banaye agar aap usme matches nahi khilaoge to then what of all these young people and all their energy kya hone wala uska what is going to happen to it and that is where all these uh, uh, whatever the sport is whoever the organizers are they that is what they don't do they don't want to have matches because it's 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 hard work you know to have matches to have tournaments to have leagues jaise aap log kar rahe ho it should have been done 5 years ago 10 years ago it would have had you would had more people from your state going out i don't know i mean this is my thing that there is there are not enough matches for people to play in any sport in the country outside of cricket there are not enough matches for our kids to play unfortunately sharda this is not only for the kashmir's problem because i am in technical committee of federation also yes. so <laughs> it is it's a national it's a, problem it's a national <laughs> problem we will play i league but uh, good yeah. thing that they are adding teams um, so we might get more but uh, there is a very much need of we to have a parle- uh, something uh, like a league cup going on where uh, teams or the players especially indian players are not only playing isl but like uh, there was a in between that knockout tournament uh, fsdl had started yeah i think they have plan for that which i hope they there there is a, a proper league cup where kyunki har ek country mein ek league cup aur league hota hai mm. yahan pe bhi federation cup hota tha but i hope uh, but at least the, in this pandemic at least i am happy ke isl ho raha hai and and i'm glad abhi maine recently suna it's happening it's going to start on time which is even a good news but uh, you know like we 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 will we we criticize a lot also and there are good things also but one of the good thing in recent past in this time and present also is that second division was successful now isl is happening at least these isl will be the by far the biggest sporting event right now in which will happen after this pandemic and uh, and uh, i don't know why my test guy has not come yet i am waiting for to give my uh, rt vcr right now so but which is good you know like at least that <laughs> makes me feel happy and safer now uh, the bio bubble square which we are following here is very strict which they have done the league have done very 
nicely organized we we have uh, uh, you know like uh, someone from the league who is staying 24 hours in same hotel you know like they they make sure that everyone will do their tests on the time and uh, Yes, uh, सवाल मैचेस में आई थिंक फिलहाल ये गनीमत है ये लीग मिल जाए इंडियन प्लेयर्स को कम से कम एटलीस्ट दिस विल बी होता है ना मतलब समथिंग इज बेटर देन नथिंग इन शॉर्ट आई विल से मतलब जो इसी इसी पे आई गेस पल रहे हैं हम सब काफी काफी टाइम काफी टाइम से क्या जिंदगी भर समथिंग इज बेटर देन नथिंग एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली दैट दिस इज इनेविटेबली व्हाट हैपेंस एंड वन ऑफ आवर क्रिटिसिजम्स ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस हैज बीन दिस आल्सो शारदा आई मीन लाइक एग्जैक्टली व्हाट यू आर सेइंग दैट एट द टॉप लेवल तो एट द इलीट लेवल ऑफ कोर्स व्हाइल इट्स इट्स अनडाउटेडली वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ uh these boys who are playing and and hopefully the women's league will also happen although the signs of that are not extremely encouraging even in the interview that uh, sunando gave to uh, the aiff uh, channel i think that is going to be pushed towards the end of the season so maybe towards march and all that but but the fact is that that these are uh, these boys who are playing these leagues are professionals they need to earn a livelihood they have families to support so it's not just a question of playing for passion and playing for the joy of the sport it's also very much about putting food on the table so so it's a it's a positive no doubt that that's happening but wahi baat hogi jab tak aapka grassroots base nahi badega jab tak log ground level us level pe bachcho ko khelne ko nahi milega to aapke elite level pe khiladi kahan se banenge uh so it's a wo chicken egg wala situation and the pandemic almost becomes a bahana to not stage matches at the grassroots level it's why we can't stage बिल्कुल 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 Yeah, I mean, in all WhatsApp groups, but it's no, just no, fair enough. I guess also uh, state associations, district level associations, uh, former players, academies, everyone has to get in on the act and do things at whatever yeah. level they can. Because if you're waiting for things to come uh, from the top, it, yeah. it's never going to happen. Unfortunately, they've already announced that the youth leagues are not going to take place uh, this season at all. even though there is uh, there have been studies and all of that have has been done to indicate that children are less susceptible to all of this so if anything you should start opening things up for kids for children you know, for uh, at school level and all of that but hamara approach hamesha se top down raha hai aur usi pe hum lage hue hain because i guess uh, that's where the big television box or whatever it is is so so uh, kya 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 kar sakte hain <laughs> um anyway a just quick update before we move on to uh, by the way maharaj this is welcome to our sunday afternoon conversations <laughs> thank you thank you so much ye ye shuru hota hai ek jagah se aur fir chalta rehta hai bas right 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 to right. so, so i hope khana wana kha ke aaye khana kha ke aaya hu main khana kha ke mujhe lagta hai idhar hi khana padega aaj yaar aap aap shuru ho jao bhai hope we are hoping that aapka test bhi live ho taki jo hum log bhi dekh sake yahan जुड़े हुए देखे तो सही कि होता क्या है भाई ये टेस्ट टेस्ट में हाँ। टेस्ट करते हैं और क्या करते हैं और ठीक ठीक है 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 मिनट्स बिकॉज़ आई 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 हैड 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 अदर थिंग टू गो टेल गिव गिव क्विक यू 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 ऑन ऑन जस्ट इफ हैव एनी एनी क्वेश्चंस वी वी कैन कैन लीव so we were yeah. we were we had an agenda of uh, mohammedan also coming in I yeah think, yeah so so just uh, before we were i was going to say, sort of segue into that by asking for a quick update on what's happening with real kashmir because they are in the i league and and that is a kashmiri club uh, let let sharda ask first if she had any indian yeah. football questions or anything also. that is uh, i I'm, i'm i'm just uh, tuning in with full attention and waiting for all your wisdom to tell me exactly what's uh, going on i'm following the east bengal story thoda thoda uh, mm. but uh, real kashmir yeah what is the situation i know they started a 
uh, women's team at least the announcement came where are those girls going to play you know those are the questions that i, I normally had they the day i am in touch with the i think mirajas also we both have met uh, sandeep who is their owner right now and i am in touch on and off with him and all that i think um, they they type tie up with uh, delhi public school for the ground and uh, which is a bit secure like place for girls yeah. to play and all yeah. that and uh, and i think they have a big ground if they maintain and that uh, natural uh, grass ground and um, i give a lot of credit to uh, credit to as the the owner also for taking such step and uh, having a you know like it's a professional team having their uh, women's football team also now and then training regularly and a lot of credit goes uh, grassroots work done by their uh, youth development head uh, ijaz who 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 does a lot of work not only for um, for the main senior team but for the age groups also and uh, i think he, he has been tremendous over the years finding youth and then uh, providing them a platform to play whether it's men or uh, male or female now um, i think that's a good step and um, as far as their senior team is uh, well, uh, you know concerned that they they are they same uh, same coach is going to continue some of the players have been retained they have got new players also i think they are looking for one more striker they might have added that also and uh, they are ready to go for uh, uh, the id which uh, which is most probably going to happen in again in kolkata only yeah. uh, and uh, uh, they they have added lot of kashmiri local players this season which is a good news um uh, in their indian squad uh, i think i think uh, that's what they have done i met me and miraj also i met him personally which he clearly said uh, this time i want to give because we were not happy previously not yeah uh, only one or two kashmiri guys were playing despite him having, having talent and uh, you know like somewhere uh, they have to believe kashmiri youth also and bring them and there are two two peep two or three guys who came with me in kerala blasters i gave him the example if they came to kerala blaster why can't they play in real kashmir absolutely mm. so so i think he was kind oh. enough to realize that and i Before. think they have added up uh, you know like some good uh, local talented players and um, and and it gives you know like returns also when you have not unfortunate this season when next season you will have home teams fans will feel more for uh, yeah. team they will feel it you know as its own i'm not saying they are not accepting other uh, players from state they last year also when hardly any kashmiri were playing they come they came in numbers and supported the team but uh, one the more kashmiri you talented players will play there then you have a ready made uh, role models for the coming generation you know who can see them playing lively and all that uh, and then they we don't have to find role models mehraj me parvez we can't be role models forever you know the 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 people like danish farhan asrar uh, the other guys they have to come like they are our good young players now they have to come come and perform maybe if they and they are in all the three of them will join the real kashmir this season and uh, that is how you produce players once you 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 know younger generation will see their role models playing in front of and that's how i became when when a former international one of the player was my next door neighbor and i used to play him and that's how i got the interest to play in football mm. so i think that's a good thing uh, they are doing and uh, i wish them all the best and hopefully you know like this season they will play better football also fair enough thank <laughs> you for that update guys and and thank you very much shada for taking the time out thank you i wish i could stay for longer if i known i would have like, cleared the full you know 3 of 3 pm thing also i promise no, no that's my, that's my fault absolutely
So I will listen to the uh, to the entire thing when it's it's loaded and and uh, I'm sure I'll be uh, better informed. Thanks, uh, yes. Ishfaq and Meraj. Good to good to Thank chat. Thank you. Thank you, Siddharth. Thank you, Shada. Anytime, you. anytime, Shada. Next Sunday, if you next Sunday, two p.m. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. We are always here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, all right. Or anytime, Thanks. anytime between two and five that you want to just pop by. <laughs> okay, drop in. Yeah, yeah drop in. The meeting ID is the same. ठीक है, okay. नहीं, meeting ID आपको भेज देंगे. अच्छा, ठीक है, ठीक है. Thanks a lot. Thank you. ठीक है. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.